What's up, Internet? It's General Artas here. And today, I have changed my armor. I figured I'd mix things up a little and put on a new suit. What do you guys think? Anyway, it's been a while since I talked about Red vs. Blue, so... That's what I'm here to do today. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, let's get this discussion going. I got my drink right here with me. It's a nice cold Sprite, no ice. <sighs> Refreshing. Red vs. Blue is my favorite show of all time. But, there is one question that's been on my mind for a while. Has Red vs. Blue run its course? Now, Bernie has said that they will continue to make it as long as people want to watch it, but that's not something you can easily quantify. Now, what do I think? Time to find out. Do I think Red vs. Blue has run its course? Well... No! But I kind of do at the same time. Let me explain. What I think the show should do going forward is introduce a new set of characters, but have them stay in the shadow of the characters we love. Have the established characters that we know gradually pass the torch down to this new cast. And then you slowly phase out the original cast. And have them only come back into the picture when it is really necessary for the plot, so that it does not come off as contrived. And when I say build these characters up, I mean over the course of several seasons, at least a trilogy, to really establish and flesh out and develop their personalities, and then have them take the helm in the place of the Reds and Blues. Season 15 kinda did this in the initial few episodes with Dylan Andrews. That's why I loved season 15 so much, even though it felt like it was unfinished, because it introduced a new perspective but it wasn't long before she took the back seat to the main characters and became sort of a side character. What season 15 should have done was give us an entire season with Dylan before she found the Reds and Blues, to really play up the mystery aspect of that season. If anything, it shouldn't have been one season, it should have been at least a trilogy. The first season with Dylan Andrews, and then in season 16, she meets the Reds and Blues, and in the second half of Season 16, what should have happened was the Reds and Blues meet the Blues and Reds. And then in the middle of the 17th season is when you reveal that the Blues and Reds are the bad guys. At least, that's how I think it should have gone. I don't really have any story or scenario ideas. I'm sorry, I was sitting at my laptop like two hours trying to come up with anything, but all I got was a blank document. Well, that's all I got for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for gracing me with your presence. And I will catch you in the next one. Hey,